Welcome guys to another one of my videos and today we're actually here to do a smart home tour for 2023. I've done a smart home tour in the years past and a lot of you guys seem to enjoy that video. It's been a long time and I have made some changes to the to the house where a lot more rooms have a lot more technology involved, a lot of smart home products. So I thought it'd be a good time to update you guys, let you guys know what's changed and what is going on. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. All right, guys, so I figured I'd start outside to show you guys what is going on outside. And let's start off by just showing off the fact that I have my Tesla Model 3 right here. I've done a lot of videos on my Tesla. It's basically a car made perfectly for tech enthusiasts like me. People love this thing. And one of the things that, of course, I added to my house that I think everyone needs to do if you have a Tesla is a charging thing. Uh, I don't know if this is considered a smart home project, a product or not, but I think it kind of is because it shows you the energy that you're using and how much it costs the car to charge. And you know, it has all that, all those statistics and all that smart home stuff you would want. And and the car smart so i think it kind of fits the bill here uh but you got that thing right there so i can always plug in my car just like you're seeing right now and it's fully plugged in charged and ready to go which is obviously fantastic uh so tesla is the first thing that it, one of the last one of the things that i added to my smart home that i was super excited about i always wanted a tesla as soon as they came out a couple of years ago i was able to get one and it's been fantastic i loved every minute of it driving it around how fast it is the technology involved in it it updates like an iphone and all that kind of stuff and having it being able to plug in and never have to worry about going to a gas station has been kind of surreal for the last couple of years so starting here at my front door before you actually enter i do have a google home ring doorbell sitting right here um I have that right here on my front door so you know when someone rings a doorbell and they press it everything all my google home products in the house and stuff like that you can see people on camera including all the people uh, my alexas they also work with it as well because i have a couple of those which you guys will see uh so it's great to be able to see who's at the front door answer and and talk to people when you're not home and being able to answer the doorbell and stuff like that that you know you guys know a lot of people have doorbells now great security thing and all that kind of stuff and great for me who gets a lot of packages at home and gets to see when they get delivered and can talk to ups and, and stuff like that and then the other thing I have here uh, that was added recently is actually this Yale lock. And uh, I had another lock previously that was smart home related, but now this one works with my Google Home and integrates with Alexa and all that kind of stuff and works really, really well. The other one was giving me some issues and it kept kind of false, not locking, even though it said it was locked. So obviously that's not good when you have a front door lock. So got rid of that thing. This one has been behaving perfectly since day one. Have had any issues. The reviews have been rock solid for it. And then, like I said, it's a Google Home integrated one and I like it. Uh, you know, you can press it and then obviously you press the top and then it's a touchscreen device that kind of lights up and then you can go ahead and you know press it there and and let people in the smart home stuff cool is that you can unlock the door when you're not home you can also create codes for people that expire at certain dates so you can let people in at certain times and all that kind of stuff so really cool lock and happy to have it uh you know much better than the other one i had so we're going to start off right here in the living room one of the first things i got to say is most of the lights that i have in the house i think almost every light if not every every light uh is integrated uh these are all phillips hue lights that are sitting up here uh that i have um they're all integrated they're just white leds in this room same thing with the one in the lamp that's obviously integrated as well uh so i can control all these lights and say things like you know turn off the living room lights or turn them on when i come home one of the things that i have uh when i come home automatically because i do use a smart home product called smart things and i use that for all of the sensors like you see uh the easiest one i can point to is like a sensor up there i have on my, my windows and my doors and stuff so smart things also knows when you actually come home based on your phone so as soon as i walk home I had the light kind of the light of the living room kind of turn on and the kitchen as well. So it kind of is ready for me to come home and I have the lights already ready as soon as I pull into the driveway. So it's automations like that, like make these products cool to have and controlling all these lights and stuff is just one of those things that makes it cool. Speaking of Google Home and stuff like that, here's one of my smart home products right here in the living room. We have the main Google Home hub area where you can control everything and you can talk to it, ask it questions, control my smart home products. Uh, if I swipe up here, uh, you can see... If you swipe down there on the Google Home, you can see all the smart home products around the house, all the cameras, the speakers, all that kind of stuff is kind of sitting right there, which is fantastic um, right here. And I can control it with voice or controlling it right through there, uh, which is great. I love Google Home. And uh, then I also have this diffuser that I got recently that lights up and you can control it right from here. It also works with Google Home, as you can see here. Uh, I can turn it on and off. You guys know about diffusers. You add oils to it and it makes the house smell like the, like the oil that you're using. I've been having a lot of fun with that thing, trying different oils and stuff, and it's great that I can control a Google Home and just 
let's say I have it ready to go and then just have it turn on when I want to and change the color of that as well. You can change that by just telling it what color you want it to be. One of the other things that I have here in the living room is the thermostat as well. A thermostat, this is a Nest thermostat that I have uh, that is controlled and obviously I can control it, set the temperature, all that kind of stuff uh, right here from the thermostat. Not too much to say about that, but it is great to have. One of the latest additions that I have here in the home that I'm super happy about that I've always wanted is a Roomba. Uh, this is the Roomba J7 Plus, the one that has the mop and the vacuum. The vacuum, I give a 10 out of 10 to. It vacuums the room super, super well and the floors and all that stuff. And I've been having a ton of fun with that. I'm probably going to do a full review on this one day. Uh, but it has been awesome. And the mop is really good. It's not as good as the vacuum. I'm going to talk about that on the full review, but it's still a really good mop. Uh, to keep your house daily clean and stuff. And it's awesome how it maps your whole entire house. And now I can tell Google or, you know, or whatever I'm using and just tell it, hey, I want, to go, I want you to go clean the kitchen. And it will literally go by itself and go to the kitchen because it knows where the kitchen is. Or you can tell it to clean the whole house or you can tell it to vacuum, whatever the case may be. It goes to the rooms. You can do the whole entire house and it knows when to bring the mop out and when to bring the vacuum out depending on the floor type that it sees. So really, really cool stuff. Uh, love that I added that recently and that's been a lot of fun. One of the other smart home products that I have sitting right here is uh, this Budweiser uh, thing. Unfortunately, I ran out of battery, so I have to get new ones, uh, so it's dead. Uh, but what's really cool about this is it actually syncs to an app, and every time that the your favorite NHL team score, for me, obviously, going to the Jersey Devils, this will actually, uh, you know, sign the horn, sign the horn, <laughs> siren the actual sound of the horn, which is fantastic. It sounds like a go horn and stuff, which really makes you involved into the game. It's really, really fun to use. And it syncs up to the game. It's not like you have to hit it or anything. It does it as soon as they score in the game. So that's really cool to have. And then around underneath here on the iPad, this is how I control everything in the living room. So you can see here that I can kind of just start something if I want to. And I can have all the controls right here. I can control the receiver. I can control the projector, the projector screen. Uh, so you see all that stuff right here. Uh, I have the screen down around, but you can see the dead and receiver sitting back there. Of course, I got the speaker sitting right here. I got the projector screen down right now because it's going to be used shortly. And then, of course, the speakers in the back, they'll be at most around sound and all that kind of stuff uh, with the projector sitting right there. And what's great is that I can use this thing and kind of just turn it on by just hitting one button and the screen will come down. The projector will turn itself on. It will set itself to the right input and people can just watch it and, and, and do things really easily. So I don't have to worry about hitting a bunch of different remotes and all that kind of stuff, which is really cool. And I have this right here on the wall. One of the other things that I have in the living room here is a butt kicker. I've done a review on this a while ago. Butt kicker is basically, think about it as being a subwoofer for your seats. Um, I used to have movie theater seats and I lost the ability to put them on there because I don't have movie theater seats anymore because I moved all the stuff up here into the living room uh, that is now kind of my movie room in a sense. Uh, but I decided to keep the butt kicker. and I actually put them underneath these seats. They don't work as well as, the, as they do in a movie theater seating area because you only really feel it on where it is so i have one there and one there so you really have to sit on those destinations for it to actually feel anything uh because they're not made for a couch like this but they're still really cool and if you are sitting in those seats they definitely make scary and movies scary and playing games really cool uh because you really feel the subwoofer just like you would a real sub there like the sub that's right there but you actually feel it underneath you which is really cool for watching movies and playing games moving on over from the living room here we're actually going to be going into the disney room uh, it's a little dark in here to show you guys, but the main there's a couple of products that I have in here. I've done a, a Disney room tour. I've done tours on most of these rooms because uh, people love to see these things. But um, we're talking about the smart home products only in this room, so that's obviously what we're concentrating on, and there's two of them. Uh, there's a little um, Alexa in here, and the reason that I got this thing in here and why I wanted this device is because obviously you can tell it, it matches the Disney theme because I can actually have the Disney um, you know prop right here. This is a case that kind of goes over the the generation five that i have here and also use the an, a skill that is all based on disney that's really cool and i'm about to show you and i've done a video on this as well but i can say things like hey disney tell me a joke i have a fashion joke what did Della wear a new jersey <laughs> <laughs> i see what you did there hey disney good morning <laughs> Gorge, good morning. You kind of startled me. See, I never set my clock to ring in the morning. It's too alarming. <laughs> so you can see you can ask it different questions and stuff. That's a new skill that Disney has, and it obviously matches the vibe of this room perfectly, being that this is a guest room, obviously, be our guests and stuff, where you can kind of wake up to Disney sounds, all different characters come about and all that kind of stuff. So that skill's really cool. I've done a full video on how that stuff works, but that's one of the things that I have in here. 
Uh, then I also have a couple of smart products as far as switches go. So in the air conditioner here, I have a smart switch so I can easily control it from Alexa or uh, from Google and stuff like that and just tell it to turn the air conditioner on in this room. Uh, and same thing with this arcade machine here. This is supposed to still be rethemed where I'm waiting for artwork where I'm going to retheme it to Disney, but it's a karaoke and slash guitar hero machine that obviously plays all the songs, but I obviously use it a lot for Disney and stuff like that. So it matches the theme of this room for karaoke for Disney singing and stuff. And it has a switch connected to it to, or a plug to do the exact same thing so I can turn it on with my voice when I need to. One of the other things that I have in here is the Govi, uh, Govi lights that I have going on right here. Basically what it does is you can kind of see it happening in the background is I have them connected to the back of the TV there. And it kind of shines a light based on the color of what the camera on the top sees. Uh, you can see that there. So I added that to this Disney room so when you're watching shows and stuff like that. But a lot of times I have this kind of playing the Walt Disney World Resort TV. Uh, and it's kind of doing the live presentation of it you could see that it kind of adds and it would be a lot better if it was perfectly dark out and this room was darker but you can see the illuminance around the actual screen that this is blue because it sees blue on this corner this is a little bit more white on the corners there because this is white and that's white so it's white on that corner a little bit bluer over here and you can see there now it's showing a little bit of orange because the, the shirt popped up on the screen and stuff like that so it really adds an immersive feel for when you're actually watching movies and stuff which is really cool uh, while you're watching different things and it kind of just showcases um you know the, the different colors and stuff as you guys are looking at here whenever it's playing a video it will kind of just showcase that and, and showcase the colors around there um which is really cool you can see as it's playing the video here it's kind of showcasing that now um if i move this around to green you'll see some green show up here uh which is really cool so it's a really really cool effect while watching stuff for sure and the last thing that's in this room that i would call smart is this little thing right here which i've done a review on i got this from someone on etsy basically when you plug this in it starts a little show you can see a little firework show in the background and everything kind of like you feel like you're taking a part of disney world home but what's really cool is that you have this thing right here which is the the watch that you use when you go to disney and stuff you can actually take it and scan it Has a little firework show, which is fantastic, and it actually plays a song. And obviously, you can see the Happily Ever After poster is, is something I'm obsessed with. So the fact that it has a little firework show kind of playing there is really, really cool that I have that there, and it kind of lights up and stuff like that. So it's a little bit smart because not only can you scan your watch there, but I actually have a, an outlet, which I'm still trying to figure out what to do with exactly, that anything you plug into this, anytime you scan that badge, it will actually turn on uh, once you actually use it. So that is really cool and makes it a little bit even more smarter than it already is. So that stuff from Etsy, that was fantastic. Really adds a nice finishing touch to the Disney room. Moving on to the next room here is the newest room that I completed in the house. I've done a full office tour before. Uh, but there's a lot of cool stuff in this room that we're going to go ahead and get to right now uh, that is definitely smart, being that this is the newest room that I did, and it came out super, super good in my opinion. I just finished this. This is my brand new office. Uh, there's definitely a lot of smart home products in this room. We got the Govi curtain right here. You can see it's set to Halloween right now, and it's got some pumpkins scrolling through there and stuff. So that's really cool that it has pumpkins on there and kind of scrolling through and all that kind of stuff uh, while it's doing that. I really like that. Uh, and the Govi currents are fantastic. You can have a crazy amount of designs. There's a lot of designs down there as well. And then you also have these lights. Uh, these are Govi lights as well. I got the Govi light right there and right here. And what's cool is I have it synced to my PC with these two lights and the lights over here. As you can see, it matches the Razer stuff. I have a Razer plug-in that's kind of matching whatever's on the keyboard and mouse pad to also match these Gobi lights around here and these Gobi lights around here and it has some really cool effects when you're playing games that are supported by Razer like in Halo when you get shot and stuff everything around the computer will turn red this light this light and the keyboard and stuff so it really adds a great uh, level of immersion sitting right there um, we got the Devroom uh, thing here the Pixel Pixel 64 which you can show a bunch of pixelated artwork which is really cool it has an app where you can download other people's artwork it shows uh, my youtube stats when i want to get motivated to see the subscribers and to see my videos and all that kind of stuff really really cool addition to the room right now it's just circulating through some pixelated stuff there uh which is really nice and then i have a govi lamp sitting in the corner uh also set to halloween right now but you can change it to whatever color you want add some ambience to the room so that's kind of sitting there in the corner um you know to, to provide light i usually have it really white when i'm recording a video or something like that which is cool and then the air conditioner is also on a smart switch just like the other room so i can go ahead and plug that in uh when i need to to keep this room cool i also have a smart switch to a bunch of other things as well i have a smart switch to 
the Your Gaming Techie logo sitting up there. And then I also have a smart switch sitting up here uh, for this as well. So you can see that kind of sitting up there. Um, and I can go ahead and just turn that on right now for you guys. It will turn on here in a minute. And boom, now that's on, and now that's on. And it's a little crooked out there. I need to fix that. It kind of moved, apparently. Uh, but you guys get the idea. And the reason, I, the way I'm doing that is actually with this Alexa we're sitting right here. I wanted to get this because even though I had Google Home products, this is such a cool, super device that I have here on the wall. And it really matches perfectly. I ordered a lot of stuff from Amazon's Grid, so it's great to have these widgets on the screen showing me what deliveries are coming up, showing me my calendar, if I look over while I'm in the office all that kind of stuff, add stuff to my calendar, my to-do list if I want to get reminded. Uh, just a really cool Alexa kind of device that, is, that, you know, Google doesn't make a thing like this. If they did, I would have looked into that. But this stuff is just super cool. And I have all this stuff in the office set as my favorite. So I can see, you know, the doorbell. I can control all the signs that I was just talking about in this room. I can literally tell it to turn everything off if I want to, show some pictures of me while I'm up here, you know, scrolling through and stuff. This is a, a really cool Alexa device that I added into the room. Really, really cool. There's some pictures right there. Uh, there's me when I met Bethany at Christmas Con. That was fantastic. But uh, yeah, so I think it's really cool to have this on the wall. It's actually, technically, it's a fire TV as well. If I wanted to turn this around and watch some TV from my desk and have it in the corner if I wanted to, that's fine. But it's really more of a smart home hub sitting in this room for everything going on in this room and around the house that I can access. But I think that's pretty much it for this room. I think this room came out great. There's a lot of cool stuff in here um, and smart home products that make everything easier to control. And when I want to turn everything off, this thing actually has a skill that works with Razor that will even turn off my computer. So if I tell it to turn off the whole office, it turns off all the lights everywhere that I just talked about because everything has a plug in it and will even shut down my computer as well, which is awesome. Going quickly into the bedroom here, there's a couple of things that are here. Uh, we got a smart switch on the door here. This is a Philips Hue again that controls the bedroom side lamps there and I can turn to whatever color I want. You can see right now they're set to blue. Obviously you can control them with, with Google if you want to, or you can use this switch as soon as you come in the room, whichever way you want to do it. There is a little Google Home uh, or a device sitting right there in the corner. This is the one that goes by my bedside that I use to control everything around the house as well. Uh, there's my Apple Watch and all that kind of stuff, but that sits in the corner. But one of the other things that I do in this room is there's also a, a, a um, movement right here. So I have a, a motion detector right here. And basically when it detects motion in the morning, it knows that I'm awake and it basically turns on the lights in this room. Uh, I also have a lamp up there that turns on. And then it also turns on the bathroom lights as well for me because that's obviously where I want to go first in the morning to start getting ready and stuff. Uh, so it kind of turns on automatically with that motion sensor, which is really cool. Uh, and the other thing I do in this room is I have the star lights. A lot of people love these projectors with the star lights and stuff. And I have the same thing in here as well. So I can just tell, hey, Google, good night. And when I tell it good night, it basically turns this projector on. I know it's not perfectly dark right now, but you can see it above there. It adds a really starry night right there while I go to sleep. And then uh, it actually starts playing the ocean waves that you can hear right now. Like I'm kind of sitting at the beach, laying down, uh, watching the stars and just relaxing and listening to that, which is hilarious, but also awesome. Hey, Google. Good morning. Then when I say good morning, it turns everything off. I will turn that off as soon as I say good morning when I wake up. Tells me the weather, tells me anything on my calendar, all that kind of stuff like it's doing right now. There's one entry today. You have an all-day event called Recycle and Cardboard. So, there you go. Not too many other smart home products going on. This is just basically, you know, it's a smart TV, obviously, but I don't know if it's considered a smart home product because all my TVs are smart. Um, most of our TVs are smart at this point. Got a switch sitting in here and stuff, but nothing else that's really quote unquote smart besides those devices that I just talked about in this room. So not too much going on in here. I do have another um, uh, diffuser in here for smells. Uh, that one that's sitting right there that I can also uh, use if I want to. Moving on to the bathroom here really quickly. Uh, I do actually have a couple of smart home products in the bathroom, believe it or not. And that is this uh, Google device right here. And I use that for music while you're showering and stuff. You can, you know, obviously just tell it, hey, I want to listen to this song. And it connects to my Apple Music and boom, I can listen to that song. Kind of have it playing while we're showering and stuff. So there's a Bluetooth music speaker sitting over there, which is really cool. And then I also have a uh, smart scale. So I actually, when I weigh myself and I start weighing myself and I go in there, it actually syncs directly into the app and the app will actually, I can actually ask Google and all that stuff using my Google devices, how much do I weigh? And it will actually remember, like if I measure myself today and two weeks from now, I want to know what I weigh, it will actually tell me what my current weight is because the scale syncs automatically to Google automatically, which is cool. And it keeps all your stats and it syncs to Apple health and all that. 
kind of stuff, which is great. Nothing else really going on in the bathroom. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, but those are the two products that I have in here. Besides the fact that I said, like I've already talked about, all my lights are smart in all the rooms. So these are smart bathroom lights where they turn on and I can use my voice to control the lights and everything like I've talked about. Moving on to the kitchen, same exact thing. I got a bunch of lights here that I can control with these smart switches, all that kind of stuff. I also have a Google Home again, uh, one of these in the kitchen, so I can do music and stuff. So if I'm playing music, I can have music going on in here. I can have it going on in the bathroom. I can have it going on in the living room. I can have it going on downstairs, which you'll see. I can have it going on outside. All kind of sync together and playing music no matter where music is being listened to. In the kitchen, there's actually not too much going on right now as far as smart home products. Uh, really, it's just that Google Home device and the lights itself. Uh, what I want you guys to do, uh, if you guys don't mind and you guys want to share what stuff you guys may do, is I'd love to hear things that I may be able to incorporate into my house that I don't have. Uh, maybe some things for the kitchen and stuff uh, to let me know, hey, maybe this is something you want to do and stuff. I, I know in the future I've always talked about getting a smart hub, like a smart Samsung um fridge with the screen and stuff like that and the LG ones. I haven't decided if I'm ever going to do that, but that's something I've always had in my mind. Uh, but that stuff is obviously a possibility, but I'd love to hear what you guys do in your kitchen for smart home products. Let me know. But that's really all I have going on in this room. Nothing too crazy. Um, it's just those two products kind of sitting in here. Here in the gathering room, which is what I like to call it here, uh, the only smart products I can think of, I mean, obviously these are all arcade machines that I've done and talked about before. The only thing I, consider, I can consider that's actually smart is probably the smart dartboard on here uh, because you can actually play against people online and stuff like that. And I have an iPad sitting right here uh, right next to it. So you can use the iPad app and it will use it as a camera and it will, you can play against people online and find people in lobbies and stuff. It's awesome to be able to play against other people using the smart dartboard. Uh, it is really cool. Never seen anything like it to be able to play dartboard with other people online and see them on camera and stuff. So I consider that a smart product because dartboards are usually not something that you can do that with. So that is really cool. And that is added into this room. Other than that, the lights, uh, this is the only room actually that does not have smart lights. I actually still control it with the switch here that I eventually need to do. Going into the game room here, I do have another motion sensor here. So it turned down all the lights. Uh, once I came down here, they were turned off five seconds ago, but now they're all turned on uh, as we come down here. Uh, this is the board game room. There's not really anything smart in this room besides that motion sensor that I just showed you. There's not much to really make smart in a board game room besides one thing, and that is these lights. Uh, these lights here are the strips that I added to add more light into this room because there was only this one light here and it just wasn't giving off enough lights. So I added LED strips there so I can turn these on and off. Uh, these are Philips Hue LED strips and they work fantastic to add more light and that's exactly what I use them for. They automatically turned on as soon as I walk down the stairs and stuff. So that's really cool. Uh, but besides those lights and that motion sensor, I also have a camera down here. I forgot about that actually until I just saw it. Uh, I have ca a couple of cameras everywhere. The Google Home things obviously also are cameras, but I also have a camera down here for security reasons and stuff. So that's always watching down here um, when, you know, when I'm at home and stuff like that. Uh, so that's great to have that. And then going into the other room here, uh, as far as smart home products, I got a smart home. Uh, I got the Gobi 3D lights down here. That kind of matches the vibe of my 3D setup or my 3D vision. This is the retro side for those of you guys who haven't seen my videos before. There's a, a 3D Gobi right there. There's a Lumetric clock that kind of scrolls through all my stuff up there. Uh, that, that tells me followers and all that kind of stuff while I'm sitting here. There's another computer desk for my 3D setup. So we got that going on right there as far as smart home stuff. But everything else down here... I wouldn't really consider smart besides the lights. Again, these are all Philips Hue lights. we got a bunch of lights everywhere that are all controlled that way. That is still a thing. And uh, that is still something that I have. Um, but everything else is just a bunch of retro stuff, which is awesome. I love this room. Being in this room, my 90s wall and all that kind of stuff that I've shown off in other videos. But nothing really too smart down here. Again, leave comments if you guys have ideas for me. Maybe something that you think would be a cool addition that's smart related in here. I do have a bunch of sensors uh, that are hidden down here just in case any water comes through uh when there's heavy thunderstorms sometimes i get some water that i have to be careful with and i do have a sun pump down here so i have a, a few motion sense or a few um water sensors uh all over the basement one here one in the other room and one in the laundry room that kind of sends me alerts and actually in the bedroom i forgot there's so many things around this house sometimes you get you forget but there's a siren at the side of my bed that if the water sensors go off it will actually siren the thing and that works through smart things and then it will kind of you know, sound the siren even if I'm asleep because I don't want water to come in while I'm sleeping and I don't know until I wake up, especially if the sun breaks. So that's why I have a siren kind of right next to me. And a lot of the stuff that I use is actually sitting right here. 
Um, this is where the router is, or the switch that connects a lot of things upstairs. The Sonos speakers from outside that we haven't seen are, are kind of hidden in there. The smart things are kind of hidden back there as well. Um, so that's basically all that sitting right there. A lot of these things are on smart switches. Then we have the arcade room, and I'm still working on this room. There's a couple of changes. I'm getting rid of some machines in here and stuff. That's why you guys haven't seen a tour in a while, because uh, I'm trying to sell off the OutRun machine, and I'm uh, debating on a, a one more machine to get rid of and replace them with something different and, and rearranging things in here. But the only thing smart in this room is that everything is connected to a smart plug. So basically everything turns on, so I can just come in here and say, you know, turn on the arcade, and everything just kind of turns on for me, with the exception, of course, of machines like Tron, where unfortunately you actually have to hold the on button to actually turn it on. But, you know, e almost everything turns on automatically with the, you know, with those smart switches, which is obviously great to have. Now here in my backyard, I have done a, a, you know, a tour out here. So if you guys want to see the full video, uh, I have an outdoor kitchen and everything. Uh, I have a TV, which has a Chromecast connected to it, which obviously means that uh, we can watch anything out here that we want. So that's one of the smart things about it, as I guess there's a Chromecast connected to it, uh, which is great. And then we have all these smart switch, uh, smart lights. So you can see these right here. Uh, these can actually be any color that you want them to be. These are connected to an app, which is great. So we have these connected and uh, control them with our voice and, and with Google and Alexa and all that kind of stuff like we usually do, which is fantastic. Um, and then we also have lights sitting over here, as you can see them along the uh, side of the fence there. So we have those connected there, which is great. And then we have more of those same lights sitting right here. So we have lights everywhere, all controls and all that kind of stuff. We also have a smart switch sitting right here in the corner, which means we can control the little bug zapper there so I can be in the hot tub on the other side and kind of just turn that bug zapper on anytime I want, uh, which is fantastic to be able to, you know, keep those bugs away from us while we're kind of hanging out. Then here on the side here, this is where we have our Sono speakers. So we have these Sono speakers outside. Uh, you can see we finally got the cables cleaned up last year, which is fantastic. We have them running from underneath the basement and coming into here, which is great. And then coming right up to here. Um, and then the other one kind of goes really hidden uh, right up there. You can barely see it kind of hiding over there and then going across to the other one looks so much better. And uh, yeah, the speakers are great and they're waterproof and all that stuff. They're out here all year round. And the wire goes back down to that white speaker box that I showed you guys for Sonos. So I can have Sonos speakers sitting outside. We do, we do also have a couple of little small Sonos speakers that we kind of have in the drawer there that kind of sit outside that we put like by the hot tub sometimes and by the fire pit to carry the music if we want to or if we don't want the music as loud as those speakers go. So we kind of have both options. And of course this thing fell to the floor because every time the wind comes, this thing likes to blow away. So I got to put that back on. But, but yeah, guys, that is my smart home tour of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. There was a lot going on in this video. A lot I, I might have missed a couple things for all I know. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know a lot of you guys watched it when I did it back. I think it was like 2021 or 2020. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And a lot of things have been added and changed. But again, like I said throughout the video, guys, if you guys have your ideas on what you guys add in your smart home and maybe you saw something that I was missing that you were like, hey, this would be really cool if you added in his house. I'd love to hear that stuff. So make sure you leave those comments down below. And if you guys have any questions about anything you guys have seen, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.